Uh, here comes his opponent from behind. And a black side from behind. Attack. Rolled back into the ring. How is he even going to be in any condition to compete now? The official checking on him, and I guess, I guess he says he's good. Hey, the attacker's got to be scared. Oh, look at the start of this. He'll be going into the playbook for submission. There may be hard broken. Oh, my God. Whoa, stiff headbutt. Oh, Bray puts a stop to that. Oh, gosh. That was a good shot, and it looks like Nakamura might be bleeding. Oh, headbutt. Uh oh. How's that for a counter? Here's a snapmare. Followed by the knee drop. That'll fracture an orbital. He's been placed in the corner now. Hits him with the counter. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. Oh, look out. It's on now. Boom. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor let it up. Toe to toe, treating each other like heavy bags. Who will break first? That is the question. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Boom! Hammer and sickle! Some mental chess here from Wyatt. Oh, Bray gets cut off. He's taking this to the floor now. Stomping down. And apart from the mind game, Bray really is a unique athlete. Corey, which part of his physical game do you think poses the biggest challenge? His speed. Wyatt likes to go on short, brutal bursts that come out of nowhere. That's why you gotta hang tough and take this match long. Wear him down over time. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Big boot. Down to Odin, and a double axe handle smash. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. This is nothing short of disturbing. Oh, so frightening. So bizarre, so eerie. And it's Welcome gonna get worse. to Sister. A well-timed dodge. Sequence of reversals there. Absolute hatred boiling over in this one. This continues to be personal, not just professional. You're right, Cole. Sure, either side would love to beat the other in competition, but this is... Will this be enough? Barely kicks out. That was a long two count there. Bray Wyatt measuring his man. Massive damage to the whole body. Amazing. Goes into the pin. Two. He narrowly avoids the count. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Oh, Nelly. Brutal Mongolian chop. The king of strong style is being dismantled. Nakamura having a tough time here. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Placed into the corner. Ah, oh, Bray had it scouted. The sleeper hold is cinched in. Time to go night night. Sleeper hold locked in. Submission locked in tight. Ah, oh, could be night night time. No, no, maybe not. What a counter. Here we go. Not setting up. Is it enough to overcome Bray? What just... I can't. Uh, agreed, Saxton. Looks like there's no limit to how much damage this superstar can absorb. And you can see the look of exhaustion mixed with frustration on Shinsuke's face. What more does he need to do here? Ooh, what a nasty kick. Just disrespectful. Ooh. 
Some good contact by Bray Wyatt. Get the ice pack ready. The body taking some punishment. Bray setting himself up top. Taking flight. Body splash. Cover. There's two. Kicks out. Good Lord. Scarily close to three. Oh, no. He can be caught here. Bad spot for him. Got the camel clutch locked in. The King of Strongs. Right now, he's looking for any way to break out of this, and he does. Back elbow blows that one out. Fez Press raining down right hands. I don't know what to say, guys. Bray is in that scary state right now. It is terrifying when Bray's in a state like this. Bam! Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Right across the larynx. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Whoa. Oh, that's just insulting. Shinsuke Nakamura needs to figure out a solution. Nakamura struggling with this onslaught. Boom, head first. Oh, getting back into the ring. Nakamura. Oh, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. Slam incoming, no. And Steph delivers the inverted DDT. He steps foot in the ring again. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Wyatt is sustaining the attack. Attack after attack from Wyatt. Say goodnight. Sleeper hold locked in. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Sleeper hold is cinched in. Oh, my goodness. Not for long. Oh, oh running knee lift. A shot to the oh. back. Shades of the USSR with the hammer and sickle. Good timing with that reversal. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. And Gray is revving this crowd up. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Big impact in the corner. Nobody home for the clothesline. Crossbody does the job. Oh no. No, this is sick. No, I don't like what he does this, this Michael. Is sick. Bray Wyatt going into that trance, that, that place. And then following it up with. Sister Abigail. That's got to be it. Two count. Bray Wyatt wins. Well, this is one matchup that lived up to its billing, and then some. Here is your winner, Bray Wyatt. What a battle this was, but the win is secured despite the unexpected events that transpired earlier. Sometimes your plans work, sometimes they don't. Their plan of attack just didn't have the desired effect. Or maybe you shouldn't be planning to win by using cheap tricks in the first place.
Oh, we're about to start this matchup. I have got goosebumps about this so Oh, uh, look who's here. What is this competitor doing out here? Well, anything they want. Taking their time surveying the situation and looks to be headed towards us. Make way, Saxton. Clear out some space for this superstar. Well, I wasn't expecting company. Hopefully you're here to take your job. As nice as that would be, Cole, I'd imagine this superstar is out here to play mind games. I think the superstar's already playing head games, Corey. Well, there are truly no ways to know for sure what this superstar's motives are. Maybe they just wanted a better seat, a better view of the action. The bell sounds, and hopefully everyone's head is in the game right about now. So much for a fair fight. What's unfair about checking a fellow superstar's reflexes, Saxton? Oh, really? Is that what you think that was, Corey? He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. These two are clearly fired up going blow for blow. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. Boom! WWE Universe appreciating these athletes go all out. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Oh, that'll swallow. And now gets tossed into the ring. Drop kick! Great athleticism. Oh, we are slugging it out. No love lost between these two. The intensity. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Our guest commentator jumping in the ring. Why? That's going to force a disqualification. No one seems to know what to make of it. We were enjoying this match. You know, guys, I was just starting to enjoy this matchup, but it's been completely ruined. Now, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. Big forearm. <laughs> Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Drop kick! Him alone able to reverse that. He's able to fend off the attack. Short jabs to the rib cage. Those are agonizing. Single underhook suplex. Nice. Rip cord. Oh, run. Closed fist connects. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Cranking the head. And he has free reign to the outside with no countouts to worry about. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Oh, God. Brought down and just uh, twisting the oh, neck twist, ruthless. Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. And I don't think there was anything necessary about that. Taking it outside the ring now. To the sky. Take over with a snapmare. Oh, man, a face scrape with his boot. It looked like Pat paid dearly after that. Yeah, it could be a moment where Malone tips the scales in his favor. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. And when he's got that chair, you know he wants to send a serious message. 
Firm control. Oh, man, what a boot. Oh, right in there. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. Post Malone gets fended off. Sits straight into the barricade. Ouch! And now Malone is showing the damage of this match. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. This has got to be one of the most knockdown, drag-out progressions of a robbery we've ever witnessed. Yeah, Byron, it's hard to recall the last time we saw something with this level of animosity take place. Saw that one come. Soaring through the air. McAfee avoids the offense. Connects on the kick. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Now into a power bomb. No way Post Malone's getting up now. Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of a submission here? Boston Crab. The pre From chosen one to number one. A man who has slain every competitor on his way to reach the mountaintop in WWE. Scottish Warrior outlasted 29 other superstars to win the 2020 Royal Rumble match and then carried that momentum all the way to WrestleMania where he became WWE Champion. First tour of duty in WWE was epic. The pipe bomb set off an entirely new era in WWE. But oh, how times have changed since then. Yeah, when you think about the past accomplishments, Corey, CM Punk has been a WWE champion. He won Money in the Bank, so many other titles. But this current version of CM Punk is driven to surpass those past achievements. And before we go any further, I'd like to extend a very Merry Christmas to our WWE Universe watching at home. Oh, I echo those sentiments, Michael. And I hope that Santa was good to everybody out there. 
even you, Corey. I hope he brings you coal, Byron. Guys, we talk a lot about superstars who love to fight here in WWE, but for my money, Drew McIntyre is right there on the top of the list. Talk about a warrior-like mentality, huh? Well, they don't call him the Scottish warrior for nothing, Cole. This is a man who refuses to back down from a fight, and he will always keep going with everything that he has. Yeah, and then some. And he's in there with CM Punk, one of the most polarizing figures in the WWE. Going against the grain just seems to be the norm for Punk. Well, there are a few people who have rocked our industry time and time. Here we go. It's popping off. Two Titans training strikes and refusing to back down. Exhaustion setting in, and neither one of them is letting up. Oh, man. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. Ooh. Ooh-wee. This is tough. Drew is known as the Scottish Warrior. He loves a good fight and is not soaring. Oh my. And into the count. Two. No, a kick out for Drew McIntyre. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Ooh, sharp elbow. McIntyre must be getting phased by this attack. Smothering offense from Punk here. Oh, he retaliates. Shoulder tackle. Waist lock. Able to counter. Look at fighting out from the opposition. Russian leg sweep. Off into the pin. Only a one count before the kick out. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Top rope putting it on. the top rope fails to hit the bullseye saw that one coming up and oh knee right to the spine go oh, right to the kidneys God, please. placed in the corner Punk drives his knee into his opponent's jaw followed by boom a bulldog McIntyre staggering, can barely find his feet. CM Punk, uh-oh! And Punk gets countered there. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh my, set flying! <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. McIntyre counters with power. Snap headbutt. Will this be enough? Gets the shoulder up after one. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. Set up. Target wired. Good man. Sliding knee strike. That might be all Drew needs for the win. There's two. Oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable. I thought Punk was done for sure. Never underestimate the resiliency of the second city saint. No! Somersault plancha! That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. This fight has to be seen to be believed. Who will prevail? True greats are at their best when their backs are against the wall. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. He's struggling a bit here. Drew making clear he came for a fight, and he's not satisfied yet. McIntyre's just so dominant. And that's Big Drew doing what he does best, taking the fight to his opponent and ending up on top. Great wherewithal on the counter. And he gets set back into the ring. Delivers the knee. And where does he think he's going? Look at this, the dive! Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. 
Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Just cranking the head. And McIntyre on the receiving end again. Rarely do we see Drew get disassembled like this. Whip back into the ring. Great presence of mind by McIntyre. Flat out with a power slam. Able to reverse. But the resilient CM Punk refused to stay down. And now McIntyre's at a from the top. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fends off the attack with an elbow. One response out. Punk plants him with a urinagi. Seamless transition into the attic. A couple of knees. It's been a hardship for these superstars to get to this point. I think these fans are driving them to claw that extra inch. You can sense the ride these fans have been on, and I'm right there with them. He moves just in time. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Up and up oh, suplex. Punk has that luck. Gonna try to end it. Punk has him trapped. Uh -oh. Punk never saw that coming. Quick exchange of counters there. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Oh! Listen to this place. It's unreal. The decibel level in here right now is breaking glass. These fans are on fire. Saw it coming. Strong counter from Punk. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Ow! Oh, oh, perfect kick. The intensity of Drew McIntyre is boiling to the surface right now. Oh, that's disrespectful. And he tosses him back in now. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. been here before and he knows what he needs to do. He turns it around. McIntyre might have him. So goes down. Oh, shoulder up before three. You can't forget how defiant Punk is. You might throw your best at him, but he'll still keep getting up. And where McIntyre goes from here is a blast off. Oh, and he doesn't connect. <laughs> Big boot. Gets him in position. This is not going to end well for him, Michael. Victory for this superstar in what was an incredible matchup. And are we going to get there? We go. Some good sportsmanship in the end. Bound awesome. by mutual respect. Well, that scene just warms my heart. A man who has nothing but disdain for his competition, Ludwig Kaiser.
Kaiser surveying the battlefield for the conflict to come. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. And it is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger, representing Imperium from Hamburg, Germany. Weighing in at 220 pounds, one half of the WWE World Tag Team Champions, Ludwig Kaiser. A piercing look on his face. No nonsense, all business. You know, I was minding my own business backstage, and this guy stared me down and then yelled at me to move out of his way. Bravo, Ludwig. Damian Priest has arrived. A man who will bring judgment to all of WWE. And introducing the challenger, representing the Terrors from New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. Priest has truly embraced his deepest, darkest side, and I couldn't be happier. We've seen Priest and the rest of Judgment Day destroy families, put competitors in the hospital, what, just to get ahead? For Priest, the ends justify the means. Also, guys, I would say that competing on Christmas has to be a tremendous thrill. I can't speak for what it's like to be in the ring, but I can tell you it's an absolute blast to be here at ringside on such a special evening. Finn Balor has arrived. Say hello to the Prince of Judgment. And introducing the challenger, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. A man with amazing high-flying skills, unmatched stamina, and a physique carved out of marble. It's good to be the Prince. I find it amusing, Corey, that despite all those gifts you mentioned, he still requires constant backup in the form of the Judgment Day. Is it Balor's fault that so many competitors want to sit under the learning tree of one of the greatest competitors of this generation? If you ask me, he's not teaching them the right lessons. He's got all the skill in the world, but the Judgment Day never plays by the rules. All you need to see are the titles, the main events, the accolades earned by the Judgment Day. Balor's teaching all the right lessons, and the Judgment Day has executed them to perfection. And before I forget, allow me to wish everybody out there a very Merry Christmas. You know, I can't help but wonder what I did wrong to have to be spending Christmas sitting next to you two. Here comes Bad Bunny. The pride of Puerto Rico. And introducing the champion from Vega Baja, Puerto Rico, weighing in at 160 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion. He is the most streamed artist in the world, Bad Bunny. Let's go. Go. 
Bad Bunny continues to impress every time he steps inside the ring. Well, he's already defeated the likes of The Miz and Damian Priest, so I'd say he's more than impressive. He's almost dominant. And before I forget, allow me to wish everybody out there a very Merry Christmas. You know, I can't help but wonder what I did wrong to have to be spending Christmas sitting next to you two. Continues the tradition of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. Athletes with an insatiable drive to become the Intercontinental Champion facing off in this fatal four-way where the title will be decided with Ludwig Kaiser, Damian Priest, Finn Balor, and Bad Bunny. Your ring IQ needs to be off the charts in this kind of match, especially with the title on the line. Three competitors gunning for your title, and you don't even need to be anywhere near involved for the final decision to be made. And they can't get counted out of this block to get through this. Where's the champion's advantage, people? Adding momentum from the ropes. That's like getting hit by a charging bullet. What could be the key to victory in this? It's imperative to know your surroundings at all times. Utilize cagey maneuvers. Know how an attack can come out of nowhere. Yeah, it is difficult to move in this environment, but when the opportunity comes knocking, you have to move on it in a hurry. Getting set up for something in the corner. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Bringing out that kendo stick means he is truly willing to go to the extreme. Into the barricade. Great reversal. Look at this, just unloading. Looking for more damage here. Ah, oh, least back suplex. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. And Ludwig didn't find a defense for that attack. You can see Bad Bunny's undeniable passion for this business shining through. And he slides him back to the mat. Was only thinking about dominance. Oh, buddy, caught by the counter. Oh, my gosh. Well, this is just too far. Get some control in there. The oh, is aggression, just pure brutality. Oh, easy. Oh, the bell claps from behind. Knew what was coming there. Challengers a little worse for wear now. Butterfly suplex. Now it's Priest. Flying mail out. That's how you impress. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Oh, Kaiser holding him at bay. Good grief. That's a chop that'll wake you up. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Champ's got the pen to retain. And he stops the count. Bad Bunny sidesteps. Punch straight to the face, stays off the attack. Out. Big knee to the midsection. Flashback. Looking for something big here. This will do it. Bad Bunny. 
And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. He's returning. Here's the pin. Title on the line. That could have been it right there. Vicious right forward. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Oh my God. God. And he's able to fight Priest off. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. What's he going to do here? Foot DDT! Focused attack on the leg. Bang! Caught by the back of the elbow. Left by the turnbuckles. It has been a constant barrage for each of these competitors. Almost a hazardous amount of punishment has been dealt. It's got to be concerning. Clearly, neither man is worried about their well-being. Two count. Meanwhile, we have Kaiser. Oh, and step up in Zagari. Big forearm. Ooh. For the title. Kick out at one. Keeping a loss at bay for now. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Super kick! I can't believe this atmosphere. Priest has his opponent up. Kicking out now for the championship. Now here's Damian Priest. Oh man! Now a pin for the championship. Oh, and he breaks up the pin. Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Kalen Buck to Plot. Oh, this should have been over, but he breaks the hold. What a forearm. Oh, man. What a nasty STO. Scoop slam sets things up. Finn down to the top rope. Now they're looking for a lift up. Just in the nick of time. The German suplex turns the tides. Picture perfect drop kick with the championship on the line. Now here's Bad Bunny. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Trying their opponent's arm out. A oh, double stop right to the arm. Going to take some power to get them up here, and then broke it out! Cover by the champ! And he breaks up the count. Bang! Man, Balor is back on the receiving end of the attack there. We knew here's the pin title on the line! Here we go! Oh, I thought the champ had it. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. What a match this has been! What a fight! We are all glad to be witnessing such an extraordinary match tonight. Snap man right 
into the surfboard stretch. Balor! And he got in there. I thought that was it. A oh, bad bunny with a kick. Bunny's gonna fly for the second rope. But a bunny destroyer for the second rope. Are you kidding me? But champions need to finish the job. Well, meanwhile, here's Kaiser. From behind. Bodies have been decimated, fortitude has been tested, and these fans are showing their approval of these superstars' performances. Setting up for something here. Ooh, that's the for the championship. And there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. Switches it around into a bulldog. to connect on the springboard. And scissors Ooh. take that. Oh, very nice. Ducking out of trouble. Giant suplex. With the championship on the line. And he breaks the pin. Now it's Ludwig Kaiser. Down for a European breaker. Heads out of the ring. What's next? He's back into the ring. Target set on Bunny. Trouble incoming. Oh, check this out. He's on with the STO. Reverse style DDT. Jawbreaker interrupts the attack. Oh, check this out. dream alive. That's how much winning this title means to give everything you've got. I don't know how much you can have left after that, but you've got to be impressed. Will that be the last opportunity? As there's tears the pin title on the line. There you go. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not for the win to retain the championship. Now it's Ludwig Kaiser. Inside cradle applied, shoulders down. He stops the count. That could have been it right there. There's the swing blade. And a basement drop kick. Covered by the champ. Kick out. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Heads out, he has all the time he wants. Ah, oh, gets cracked by the overhand. Look at this. Oh, tag with the boot. Cover for the championship! Oh, and he breaks up the pin. Then Balor. Sin gets stopped in his tracks. Oh, there's a submission on the way. It's in. He gets there. A few seconds. Priest has his opponent up. Crucifix jumpers down. Championship on the line. Yes, we have a new champion. And here's another peek at some of the more memorable parts of the match. Okay.